A big baseball announcement today. The Miami Marlins have officially renamed their ballpark. And this comes ahead of opening day tomorrow. Local 10 sports anchor Clay Ferrero is live with the new name. All these name changes on our stadiums. I, I still call the old stadium Joe Robbie, the old one. <laughs> That's wow. how old school I am. Wow, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I am. Of course, that was... That was down the road a little ways. And some people are actually joking that they're going to keep calling it Joe Robbie. But it is now Lone Depot Park. Of course, it has been Marlins Park since it opened back in 2012. And Derek Jeter spoke with us today about why they're so excited about changing to Lone Depot Park. But let's be honest, what fans want to know is, what does this mean for us? What does this mean for our team? And people have been wondering for a long time, Will the Marlins now start spending more money on the team, maybe signing some big name free agents? And what Derek Jeter told us was, look, we're going to do that if we get close. This has been our plan from the beginning. But I think the one thing that you can gauge with all this is, hey, this is part of getting back up to speed when it comes to revenue. So maybe don't expect the Marlins to go out and make a $500 million signing anytime soon. Here's Jeter. <laughs> Direct I'm laughing because I thought that was going to be the first question that was asked. But one thing I will say is that we came here and we said that we have a plan and we have a plan moving forward. We're going to stick to that plan. And we've done a pretty good job of, of uh, loading up our minor league system with, with a lot of prospects. And we're going to give them an opportunity to play. So when we get to the point where, uh, you know, you, you're trying to fill some holes, like we said from day one, we'll do that. And, of course, they did that last year during their playoff run, on the way to the playoff run. And one thing that Jeter said was he was a little disappointed about the fact that they weren't able to have fans in the stands last year, of course, understanding the reasons why. But he would have loved to see just how many fans came out for that playoff run. And, of course, they're hoping to do that again this year with fans when it all opens tomorrow. For now, we are live at Lone Depot Park. Play for <laughs> Local 10 News.